do you think that getting the shingles vaccine is a good idea? Oh my, uh, well, I sure think getting shingles is not a good idea. Boy, what a hellacious condition that is. I've seen dozens of cases of shingles over the years and it's a, just a, it's a, uh, it's a curse of a disease. And you get this uh, patch of, of blisters that turn very painful and it hurts to have clothes on. The bed sheets are painful on this uh, rash full of blisters lasts for a week or two and in a significant number of people they're left with permanent tenderness and and sensitivity of that nerve that got involved so if you can avoid shingles you want to do that what are they this is um this is a an infection of the skin uh that is caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox uh, herpes zoster and if you had chickenpox when you were a kid, you still have those herpes virus living in your nerve fibers in your skin. The skin nerves is where these viruses hibernate for decades. Uh, if you got it when you were 10 years old, it was there all through your 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. When people get to their 70s and 80s, depending on their vitality, um, their natural immunity goes down. Real old folks are more prone to infections, et cetera. And as the immunity goes down, those viruses that are still there look around and say, hey, we can make a resurgence here. And the uh, herpes virus multiplies and gets into the bloodstream and can uh, work up the way up to the skin and cause classic, uh, classic shingles. Uh, so it depends on the person and we need to talk about the shingles virus, the uh, vaccine. It's a, it's a good vaccine. Uh, if you believe in vaccines at all, I'm not gonna get into the whole vaccine issue, but uh, what is it? Uh, they, they took one little sugar off the surface of the virus. It is not live herpes virus. It's not the, the, the shingles virus. They took one little glycoprotein off the surface, combined it with a substance that, that, you know, it, that magnifies the immune response. And that's what shingrix is. It's a little piece of the, of the surface uh, uh, structure. And they inject it in and you make antibodies against the, uh, against the, the virus uh, particle there. And you have lots of antibodies and if the, and if your uh, body starts allowing the herpes virus to multiply, uh, the antibodies that were called up by the Shingrix virus zoom uh, uh, zeroes in on the multiplying viruses, and it really snuffs down. It's highly effective, or ninety percent effective. It, it's an effective vaccine. You know, significant. The only side effects about I think thirty percent of people feel achy uh, for a day or two afterwards, but then, and uh, some folks get a headache, but they're not, nothing terribly serious. So it's a good vaccine, and it does prevent uh, shingles. Does everybody need it? Well, it depends again on your age. Uh, young, healthy people don't. And even in your 50s and 60s, if you've been living a healthy plant-based lifestyle and you're eating these colorful salads and soups and steamed veggies all every day and your immune system's really healthy, um, the, the odds are of, of coming out with a shingles episode is much, very, very much reduced compared to, so, to a 70, 80 year old person who never leaves the house, they're just at home in front of the TV eating cheese sandwiches and drinking Cokes and never go out in the sun and they're frail little people. Those folks get shingles. Uh, and so uh, it's, it depends who the person really is. If there's any question, uh, by all means, get it. I, I think it's a benign vaccine. It's effective. And when I take a history, you know, yes, I've had the shingles vaccine. I don't go, oh, that was a terrible idea. I said, probably a good idea for you there. So I'm generally in favor of them. Does everybody need it? Again, depends who you are and how good your immune system is and your age, et cetera. But it's a good vaccine. And anyone who wants to get it, uh, I have no objections. And, and if you're at all prone to shingles, uh, it, it's a very good thing to do. So uh, a general qualified thumbs up. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.